welcome back this is gonna be a Dollar Tree haul um yeah I went to Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago and I never I never even showed that it's all over there still in a bag it's mainly like Christmas type stuff but then yesterday no two days ago I went to three different Dollar Trees in the same day uh, one in Wapak two here in Lima so yeah I'm kind of trying to sort things out. So I'm going to have three separate hauls because there's just too much to do all in one haul. And yeah. So anyways, we will start this one off with what I was most excited about. Like I saw this on Chic on the Cheap, Sarah Jane. She, um, she shared these and I was like on a hunt for these. This is part of the reason why I went to three different Dollar Trees. This and for some DIY supplies. But anyway, we'll just get into it. How cute are these? They're the little oven mitts. They have the hot cocoa and like a chocolate covered pretzel. Um, yeah. Candy canes, little peppermint candies, cookies. They're so cute and they're not just like strictly Christmas either. Are these so cute? I love them. I love them. And I like, I looked at the other Dollar Trees and um, like with all of their this type of stuff they didn't have anything and then when i was at the very last one i found these at the very last one i was actually we were at this one to get um i can't even talk today we went there to get a gift bag and um birthday card for adri's friend's birthday party which was yesterday and i just happened to see one of these like i saw the very edge I'm like oh my gosh i think that's the pattern so i dug in it was in the very back of the rack and i dug through like the the other um items of these and i found like i was oh my gosh just okay let me just shut up and show you so there's the oven mitts i also got let's see one pack of the little pot holders with the same little print this is so so cute and it's red and gray and then i picked up the little towels look how cute the little hand towels i love this print i have other prints like from previous years i have like santa claus and snowmen this is the cutest print ever. This is just, I don't know, I absolutely love this print. I love it. I'm so excited that I found, like I almost cried. I almost got tears because I was so happy to finally find this print. Like once things are gone, like they're gone. Um, next up we will hop into this little pattern. So, actually, let me get, let me get these real quick because I saw these a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, I just knocked over lipstick. I saw these a couple weeks ago. They were the only two in the store. Whoa, and I got them both and I have not seen them since. Look, I just opened the window. Oh, let's do that. Let's turn this light off, the top yellow light off. Oh wait, no, I think we need it. Cause that makes everything look blue. My neighbor's house is blue. I just opened the window so I have natural light in like it's blue. It's making my walls look gray, but they're not. Anyways, look at the gnomes. They're so cute. One dollar, you guys. And these are a good size. They're not teeny tiny. They're so stinking cute. Angie Belmar, she like collects the squishmallows or like the giant gnomes like she got them last year and i was like oh my god this is so cute so when i saw these i already had messaged her on instagram the day that i got them. like oh my god i thought of you when i saw these look how cute so i got the little gnomes little christmas gnomes they are so stinking cute they're weighted they have like is it sand in them or something so they're weighted so i got those this was a few weeks ago i have not seen anything now i'm out of breath i have not seen anything a gnome pattern or anything and I haven't seen those gnomes again and when I saw the little treats the goodie treats uh, pot holders I just showed you they had these gnome for the holidays are these not the cutest freaking thing look and they have the red and the gray I am like I don't know these are so cute so then after I saw these I was over by the signs and look what they had gnome for the holidays so I think the gnomes is like the new thing. Like it was the red trucks last year and I think even the year before, maybe just last year. I don't know, but this year is like all about the gnomes. Is this not the cutest thing? Where is, I feel like, 
since I'm on this pattern, I need to look for a specific item. But anyways, how cute is that? No one for the holidays. It's gray and red and white. Okay. I just saw this. Was I saving it for a different haul? I was trying to separate things by um, which trip it was. Okay. I see it. I see it. I see it. So, yeah. Along the lines with the gnome items. Look at this cup. Come on. Focus for me here. I'm still learning about this camera. I thought if you tapped the screen. I thought it was like a touch screen. Oh, it did. I just touched the screen. It just focused. Cool. And it says gnome for the holidays. And it's a hot cup. For your hot cocoa. Look. With the little gnomes. So, yeah. I believe the gnomes are taking over. Okay, come on now. Here we go. So yeah, how how cute with the little sign and the little towel and the cup and the little gnomes. Is this not the cutest thing? Like seriously, okay, okay, I can't, I can't just stay on these gnome things the whole day. Oh, they're so cute. I haven't started decorating yet. I did take down my Halloween decoration. I haven't started decorating for Christmas yet, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna want to do. What was that noise? Oh, it wasn't my phone. Okay. Next up, I have. I had a green tub because. I went, I wanted to get a tub for a tub for a DIY. Somebody made like a cake tray, cake platter, it's called cake stand. So I went in, it was also, it was a few weeks ago. We went to a Halloween drive through parade and I went in, I was going to get, I was going to get, um, one of these tubs to make the cake tray and I needed to get like little Halloween buckets in case they passed out candy at this Halloween parade thing. Like all the floats from the parade, like lined up at the fairgrounds and you kind of drove through them instead of them driving through. So I rode a separate, you were in your own car. And I, they had one Halloween bucket left in the whole entire store. So I got it and then I got um, one of these for one of the kids to put their candy in. So Adri has the container to this. It's the one I actually got for to make the cake stand. But then when I was in there getting out, I saw this one. This one's super cute. I don't have this one. Like some of them, most of the prints I have already from last year. But this one I didn't have. This one says Merry Little Christmas, Noel, Tis the Season, Cheer, Joyful, Christmas Joy, Merry and Bright, All the Things. And they have, they have one that's um, red and white, and I forget what the print is. They have one that's blue and white with like snowflakes, or like clear with blue and white. So I have this for Christmas goodies. <gasps> Don't fall off the bed. I'm all spread out on my bed because I just have so much everywhere. But then I bought this one just for the lid because I thought, well, I actually saw two different DIYs. Sarah Jane, her, um, she comes in cheap. She actually used a candlestick and then glued this to it and spray painted it. But then I saw on a different DIY, somebody used one of these cake platters. That I got two, because I want to make two. What's it even called? Decorative cake tray. So it's just a clear cake tray, and she used it. So there's a, quite a difference in size in the two. So depending on if I want it bigger or smaller, and like the one used one of the glass candlestick holders, which I think I have in the basement. I, can, I could barely even find it. I think I found one at the store. I might have grabbed two. I'm wishing, I hope I grabbed two. I don't remember because I was at different stores. And then you just put, the, you know, hot glue or T6000, that candlestick on here, and then you have spray paint it and you have a white cake tray. Like I wouldn't put, for like decorations, not for an actual cake. If you want to do it for an actual cake, you would just leave it clear. You wouldn't want to paint it. So if you wanted a clear cake stand that put an actual cake on, you would just glue or, um, yeah, the candlestick to it like I said mine is for DIY it's gonna be spray painted and now I actually have the stuff to make three but like you put that on there and you have it by that the one girl had it by her sink and she had she made um just she made other DIYs and put it on there like that's for decoration so I got two of these to make cake trays cake stands I like one by your sink and put your soaps and stuff on it so they're not sitting down like on the counter just raise them up a little bit to put some dimension in your counter and then this lid is for that too. Like I said, Adrian has the bucket. I think it still has Halloween candy in it. I also thought, saw these. I've never seen these before, like in previous years. I always get my um, chargers from Dollar Tree, but I've never seen these. These are like the same material, color, 
gloss as chargers, but they're these little um, just rectangle trays. Like you can put a couple of candles on there. You can have like a little some hot chocolate toppings on there, like a little hot chocolate station if you didn't want to do a huge one. So I picked up three of those. Like they could sit on your mantle on the back of your toilet with some decorations on. Like these are so cute. So I grabbed three of those. I think I already said that. I don't even know where to put anything. Okay, that's that bag, that's that bag. If you have followed my channel for a while, then you know at Christmas time, I have little mailboxes from the Dollar Tree that I put out and on every day, like every, from December 1st until Christmas Eve, I put a little treat in the kids' mailbox. I did it when it was just Adrian. I did it with Ad when it was Adrian and Alex. Last year, I feel like I didn't find a big mailbox for Jackson. Or did he not even have one last year? He might not have had one. But this year, in it's probably in a different haul because I don't see it over here. I found a big mailbox for him. So now I'm like on the hunt for like little things that I can put in their mailboxes. So they have like a little treat each day. And since I'm like doing away with bath toys because like, the bath squirters, the water, you never get the water out. There's so many cases like kids getting sick from mold and stuff. So I think these are handy to have like from the Dollar Tree. You use it for one bath and then throw it away. I mean, you don't have to use one in every single bath they take. So these would be great for um, Jackson. So this one has a little turtle, a blue fish. Or is that supposed to be a shark? I don't know. And then a little orange puffer fish. And then this little pack has a frog, a rubber ducky, and then whatever this little spiky fish is. So these will be great to throw in his little mailbox. And I was like, okay, one kid. It was a great idea when you had one kid. That's only like 24 little things. So that's like $24 if you get things from the Dollar Tree. Then I had two kids. I'm like, okay, it's still okay because that's only like $48. But now I have three kids. It's like, and there, you guys have even asked for it. I've even had people ask me, like, are you going to do the the vlogs during Christmas time and show us what's in their mailboxes. I love that. Like I've had so many people ask me over the years because I've just always done it. Adri's eight. It's like I've been, I didn't do it when she was a baby. I don't know what year I started it, but it's like, I can't stop. I mean, I stopped with having kids now, but so like I said, I just, as I go here and there, as a, if I'm at stores, I just find, pick up little treats. So I also found these. These are little LED projector lights. Um, it says manual press for on and off. And it has, I don't want to open it though. But it's this little thing, and there's a button that you push on the side. This one has fish, like a fish scene that will project on the ceiling or the wall or wherever. And this one is space, I believe. That's what it looks like, galaxy. Yeah, so there's these just little mini projectors to stick in the girls' mailboxes. Adri was with me when I got a lot of this stuff. Actually, when we were trying to buy stuff for her friend's birthday, like everything she picked for her friend's birthday, we got her stuff from Meyer, we got her stuff from... Um, Dollar Tree, but everything Adri got for her, Adri wanted for herself too. How do people juggle? Um, but Adri saw these. They're the Royal Snowball Hatchimals. And, um, hold hatch play. And she wanted one. I'm like, okay, but you're gonna have to wait. It's gonna have to go in your mailbox. So she does know that she has some of these items coming in her, uh, mailbox. Which is fine. I mean, she'll forget it between now and then. So... There's that. I also picked up these little oh, lip balms. Scented lip balms by LA Colors. This one is in berry and this one is in mint. So this says you you are very sweet. It's a pink one. It's berry flavored lip balm. And then this one says this is mint to be. It's the green one. So there's little uh, mini lip balms. I got them for myself, but these might go in a mailbox also. I don't know. Because if you watched my Sephora VIB video, you know I don't need any more lip products. Also, I saw this. The girls have little trees, and I don't remember what tree skirts they have. I think Adri said hers is pink, and she liked this one. So this is just a little sparkly red little mini tree skirt for her little tree. So there's that. I saw another DIY. They use any jar from the Dollar Tree and they use like the little um, holiday lights, the little light up lights, the snowflake one. She took the snowflake off and she glued it on the top and then she spray painted white and it was so cute. It made like the cutest lid ever. <laughs> just have a lid on a canister with some candies in it, like Christmas candies in it. And it had like a, just a snowflake on the lid. 
So I picked up two of these to maybe do that for like their, the hot chocolate station. I thought that would be cute. And I also, I think I have candy cane lights from last year. Maybe I could just glue one of those on there and not paint it. Like maybe paint the lid red and put the candy cane on top. That'd be cute, right? To paint the lid red and then have a little red and clear, uh, a red and white candy cane thing that you pull off the lights. And then for this one, have it white with a snowflake. I don't know. I haven't done DIYs in a while, and I've been ever seen all these Christmas ones. I'm like ready to do some DIYs. For another DIY, Sarah Jane, she made these. It said milk for Santa, and she took these tall candles and melted them down and poured them into the milk bottles. And I cannot find the milk bottles, so I found vases that are kind of the shape of the milk bottles. But then she had like red and white baker's twine that she tried. She tied around like the neck of the bottle, and then she printed out labels and milk for Santa. And it was the cutest thing, and she had it on the tray that she made with the cake. With the cake, the cake stand tray that I just talked about. I need to stop watching her channel, maybe. I also, when I was checking out the $1 tree, I heard these ladies talking about they couldn't believe that they had apple cider vinegar with the mother in there. Like, I was already in the checkout line, but I could use it. Um, uh, they say it's healthy to do, uh, like, a tablespoon a day, like a shot a day. I don't know. But when I was at the next one... I picked one up so yeah raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with mother so I have that please don't leak out that would be disgusting what's in here y'all I don't even know I don't even know okay so here's the candlestick that's what I was talking about okay so use your little candlestick and just glue it. I've made tiered trays before. Not with these. I made them with the bigger platter. And there you go. And if you had another one, you could glue it on the center and put a second one. Or have it like this. Have the bottom one flat and then just put a second level. I mean, tiered trays can be expensive. And if you can make your own, literally for like $3, $2, or you want to use the one cake sand. See, you can have it like that, or you can spray paint it white or whatever color you want. Have it in any room of the house. Cute, right? What's in here? Okay, so yeah, she had the little milk bottles, and I cannot find milk bottles because I swear hers were like this, but they had like a. Did they have some? Maybe this is the right thing. I don't know. I looked at all three Dollar Trees. I've looked for a couple weeks and I cannot find them. This is the closest thing I could find. And this was actually over by vases. But I think I think this top is too wide. I don't think it's the right one. But it's all I could find. So it might just have to do. So I think I picked up three. Well, there's two. Please don't break. It must be another bag because it's not in this bag. But I saw this. When I was looking through their things, how cute is this? Baking spirits bright instead of making spirits bright. How cute is that? Dollar Tree is like stepping it up. Like you can find the cutest stuff. This was one freaking dollar. This at like Hobby Lobby or a place like that would be way more than a freaking dollar. Okay. Baking spirits bright with a little gingerbread man and the little cutout cookies and the peppermint sticks and peppermint candies. I love it. I love it. <sighs> With all the crap that's been dished out this year, um, we need some lights and festive cute stuff going on. All right, we'll just go in this bag. What's in here? Oh, okay. I saw this. I was when I was in the aisle looking for candlesticks. I saw this little sign. It's so cute. It just it's a little canvas and it says laundry. It has the laundry hanging on the line. How cute is that for a laundry room? And then I saw these. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Probably nothing here because I can't hang them here. They're little floating shelves. They had white and they had black. They're not the biggest shelf, but if you want to put like a candle on it or just like a few little things like Q-tips in the bathroom, Q-tips and cotton balls, it's a freaking floating shelf for $1. So I picked up three. Three of those. I don't know. I had... I had a great time. I would get discouraged at one because I didn't find what I was looking for and then I'd go to another one and I'd find what I was looking for and then some. 
so yeah there's that I also picked up these kids like my kids love when we have little solar lights outside I feel like I'm missing one because the hook on it was broken I had to go back and get another one okay it's in here uh oh uh oh we're hooked so yeah so there's they have two different styles of these lights so these are the ones that have like the stake is in the bottom you flip it around you stick it in the ground and they're little solar lights so they're like the giant christmas bulbs growing up my mom had these the big bulbs on the tree they were like the big old-fashioned christmas bulbs on the tree and i love them i will always love them it takes me back to my childhood so when i see the big bulbs i don't know and my kids are gonna love this so i picked up uh red yellow blue another red because i don't know how many it's gonna take to go our sidewalk's like not very big and then green so that i could go red green yellow blue red green you know so kind of in order how cute so i got those for outside then they had these these are solar lights also are they supposed to hang i don't know if they're supposed to yeah they must be oh shoot because this little solar panel is right here and then they have like little hooks you can hang them oh I wonder if I could hang them from the swing set or would that be like trash <laughs> I don't know anyways these are the only colors they had of those so I got a red a yellow and a green cute I guess I could always hang them like in their bedroom window so they could get centered in. I don't know I'll figure it out so there's that also, Jackson, we keep, I don't know how, I buy pacifiers for him all the time and they end up missing. Like, I like to keep a, a couple, I like to keep a couple in his bed because he wakes up at least once, if not four or five times. Last night, he woke up quite a few times and he just kind of wakes up crying and sits up in his bed. So I hurry up and give him his pacifier and lay him back down and he goes back to sleep. And if I don't do it within like so many seconds, he's standing up in his bed and like ready to get up for the day. So having multiple pacifiers in his bed is handy. So I picked up five more pacifiers. These are just the basic. I got Chase, Chase, Marshall, Marshall. Oh yeah, because I couldn't find any Mickey Mouse. Set. Marshall. So five more pacifiers. Plus the ones in the living room. It's like, I have no idea. I have no idea where they go. I've looked under the couch. I've looked behind the fireplace. Like I cannot even figure out where they could even be. So anyways, I picked up these for the girls for in their mailboxes. They're these cute little, it says sticker, sticker tivity funny face. So it says chili giggles. So it has, um, oh my gosh, if I can find it. It has the stickers. I don't know if they're reusable or not, but then see it's a reindeer and you can like make a face on them. So here's this one with like the different characters and you just make faces on them. Cute, right? I think Allie will like it. So there's that one. And this one is Sticker Tivity Sticker by Number with 50 stickers. So this one is a little bit different. It tells you where to put. I swear I had this as a kid and you'd go back, okay, that says number seven. So you go to your sticker page and find number seven. Like this would be better for Adri. And Allie can just make faces and you would find number seven. All right, where's number seven? I don't know. I'm not going to go through and find them all. Um, Look, it has a little elves and everything. So you go through and you just put whatever numbers on there. So I think that would be fun. So anyway, I thought those sticker books would be fun. My kids also love window clings. So I got plenty. I'm sure I probably bought some last year, like after the season that I didn't use. But I stocked up this year because they can put them in their bedroom windows, living room windows, wherever. So I have this one that says Sweet Christmas and it has like the baked goods. Um cupcakes gumdrop hot cocoa fruit cake a little gingerbread house cake pops so there's that one this one is super cute it has fa la la llama santasaurus rex have a great white christmas a magical holiday and lazy christmas so it says like the little animals on it sorry i'm trying to not have a glare so there's that one this one has kitty cats and puppy dogs Super cute. This one says let it snow. North Pole has Santa Claus and a llama and penguins. This one is I think my favorite because it says Merry Christmas ho 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 and it's the Candy Cane Express. It's the Santa Claus train up here it says ho ho Merry Christmas it's hard to see and they're glittery. Oh, so cute. 
And then there's this one. It says cookies for Santa and it's gingerbread items. So there's that. Oh my gosh, I need to like sort through this stuff. Okay. Next bag. These, I don't even want to get them out, but I'm going to have to. I saw a DIY for um, these reindeer. It's a super cute DIY. They actually end up with no glitter. But I might end actually leave mine with glitter. Maybe touch up spots that are weird. I don't know. This side looks pretty good. And they had them on a... Um, they're good to... And like I saw these and she's like, yes, they did come from Dollar Tree. Everybody keeps asking me if they're from Dollar Tree. I'm like, whatever. I've looked and looked and looked and I finally saw them. I saw um, red ones, which are over here, the one day. And like a different day. I'm like, what the heck? They have red, silver, and gold. So I got silver. But to have like a red and a silver... Oh, should I get the red ones out? glittery mess. I always have a glittery mess when I go to Dollar Tree. And you actually put them on like the skewers, the tall skewer sticks like you get in the summertime. And they had them on sticks so they look like they're like flying through the air. Like this is the cutest thing. If I staggered them, staggered them out so some were like higher and some were lower or even just two of them like this, like they're flying in the sky and have them on my mantle where the kids can't get them. I don't know. She scraped all the glitter off and put like um, buffalo check paper on it. I don't. I like the glitter. I might just leave them glittery. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Red and silver. My tree, like all the decorations on my tree are like blue and teal. And I'm ready to have like a red and silver tree. I need a new tree though. Okay, these I'm just going to throw in here because... You guys have said it before, when I've unbagged things on my bed, I'm going to have a wake up with glitter in some interesting areas. Okay, these, like I just said, I always get my chargers from there. I have never seen, I don't know what that is, this print of chargers. Like I have, I love the gray, and I have like, my cube stands are gray, I have a cube stand in the other room, I have a bookcase, I just got end tables that are this, it's like the, the gray farm style farmhouse kind of style how cute is that it's actually it's gray so i picked up four of those they're all in here i'm not gonna take them off they're all the same what is this that's wrapped here what else did i grab it oh for another diy she had like these little mirrors hi you see my camera can you see my blue house behind me not my blue house the neighbors anyway she had these and she got the ornament um Reindeer, and she had three of these staggered out and the reindeer glued on them. And then she put a little tiny red pom-pom on the first one for Rudolph's nose. It's so cute. It's so simple and so cute. So that's on my list of DIYs to try. When am I ever going to find time to do DIYs? I can't find time to freaking do anything, let alone some, <laughs> some DIYs. But whatever. It's the thought, right? Okay, in this bag... Okay, so they had... They're fall stuff because they're trying to get rid of it. I picked up more of these little cups. If you watch my channel, you know I get these anytime I see them. They're just the little snack cups. I also picked up these because in previous years we've gotten the little houses. I thought these would be cute to go with the little houses. Some uh, white trees and some green with snow for the village. So I picked those up. Okay, and these are the tall white candles. They have some now that have like a Christmas print, but she put these in a pot of hot water and melted the wax and poured them into the little milk bottles. And then she put the ribbon on them and it looks like milk for Santa. And then when they're lit up, oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. I wonder, I need to check and see if, I, if those are the right ones. Because if not, I don't know. I might have to go to a craft store or something. So I got a couple of these. There's two in here, and I picked up one because they only had one white one at the one store. So when I saw them again, I picked up two more. So there's those. What's that? Then this last bag is mainly stuff for their little mailboxes. Um, well, I got these. These are sweet Christmas marshmallows. They are the cutest little marshmallows. They have Christmas trees, candy canes, and snowmen. They're so cute. My kids love marshmallows to eat them. They love them in hot chocolate. They just, they like marshmallows. So I got those just for a little treat. And then 
I actually got these and then later that day when I was at Dollar Tree with Adri to get stuff for her friend, she was like going nuts because she's obsessed with Stitch. And I'm like, you can't find Stitch things very often. She's like, Mom, I have to get in. She was like, so I'm like, Adri, I'm like, I got it for you earlier today. I was going to put it in your mailbox, but since you're throwing it in, like, you just ruined the surprise because, like I said, you can't find Stitch things very easily, especially not in person. So she has, she's getting Stitch. It's a little zoom zoom, whatever, however you say it. So I got Stitch for her, and then I got a Minnie Mouse for Allie and a Mickey Mouse for Jax. I thought these would be the easiest things for their stockings, but now, since um, Adrienne ruined it, we'll do those. I also picked up, they love their squishies, and I picked these up. And what do you know, when we were at the store her friend for her friend, Adrienne wanted one of these for her friend, and she wanted to have matching. It's like, oh my god. But it's okay, I'll give this one to Allie. So I got them... Each a squishy. I don't know who's gonna get what one or what my plan is, but I got a couple squishies. <laughs> I'm missing a bag. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to put it in another haul. So anyway, here's a little cupcake squishy. They always come out with new ones. They have a new one that's like it looks like a chocolate candy bar, and it looks like a, the chocolate candy bar from Shopkins. So there's that squishy. That's a little. Is it a cinnamon roll? Maybe. Maybe that's a cinnamon roll. And then this is a cupcake with sprinkles and a cherry on top. And then this is a little, like, poop emoji unicorn rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. So there's that. I also picked the girls up chocolate coins for in their mailboxes. Oh, these might, they might get these early. They love those chocolate coins. Oh, wait. I got all three of them. I was going to say, why would I not get one for Jax? He likes chocolate. So they each got a thing of coins. And then I got the girls each a Christmas fun pad. It's just an activity book coloring pad. It's just so many cute little pictures. Christmas pictures to color. And here's this one. Same thing. Just to color. These have been handy to keep in my bag for if we go out to eat or go somewhere like to an appointment and they have to wait and they can color. So there's those. And then also in here, they have these little Thai beanie babies for $1. Teeny ties. And this is Donatello. He was my favorite Ninja Turtle. So I got Jackson a little Thai beanie baby of Donatello. Okay, now I need to find that bag though because otherwise it's not going to make sense when I do the other one. I don't know. Oh, wait. Just found it. Just found them. Just found them. So then for the girls, I got SpongeBob and Patrick. I don't know who's going to get which one, but we have SpongeBob and we have Patrick. So they each got a little beanie baby to go in their mailbox. And yeah, that's everything for this haul. This ran on long enough, and this was only one of the three. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked this haul. Comment down below if you remember me doing the little mailboxes every year at Christmas time, because I swear I've had so many of you ask me each year if I'm going to do it. And when I do do it, you guys comment on it. I think it's so cute. So yeah, I'm stocking up on little easy, cheap items to put in there. <laughs> mailboxes, because it, it'll be here before we know it. I mean, this year is flying by. It's kind of good, but kind of bad. But yeah, I thank you so much for watching. I will uh, see you in my next video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And yeah, I hope you're having a good week. And I hope next week is even better. It's Sunday here. Well, when I'm filming this, I don't know what day you're going to see it on. But yeah, I hope you have an amazing week, an amazing rest of November. Hopefully you get to have a family gathering for Thanksgiving since this whole year has just been so freaking nuts with social distancing and everything else. Hopefully you can at least... Have a happy Thanksgiving when it gets here. And yeah, we got a few weeks. Who knows what can happen in the next few weeks. Could go up, could go down. Who knows? We'll just cross our fingers and hope for the best. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.